episode we go ice racing in Funestalen in the northwest of Sweden. I know this is an adventure motorcycling channel primarily, but we are in the midst of winter and motorsports abstinence is killing me, so trust me, you will like this. I truly love this event and we go here every year, frankly, I even enjoy the long drive up from Stockholm. The further north you get, the more beautiful it gets. And the driving as such can also be very demanding with slippery roads, snow and reindeer trying their best to send you into the ditch. Anyway, after 6-7 hours drive, we end up in my friend Peter's cottage, aka Furuhelvetet, or the pine wood hell. We always start by changing tires, which can be a bit, you know, can be a bit cold here, especially for the fingers, but uh, you have to do that. And these are the so-called S tires, which holds these studs, which are like, I don't know, like 6 millimeter, I think they are. And you can also do do all this, which I did the first years, with quite normal winter tires. It's fun too, although it can be a bit too slippery sometimes. Okay, so that was the tire changing. Now that's finished and uh, I have a little secret for you. Please don't tell anyone. This year I used a torque wrench to get the correct uh, wheel nut torques because last year I boom, lost my rear right wheel. So the wheel sort of overtook me on the ice track, which was quite embarrassing. So here you see my clean, mean ice racing machine. Ready to go. When you drive these tires on icy roads, we're on the way to the track now, it's, you get... <laughs> it's crazy grip, it's almost like in, in summertime. But it also, when you enter the asphalt, it sort of moves around and, and sort of... Uh, yeah, it's, it's really unruly then, so it's, it's ice only. Told of Mr. Erik Gierhall, who is sort of the Mr. Gentleman's Racing Club. You started the whole thing, I guess. Is that the case? Yes, together with a friend of mine like 14 years ago. And apart from this uh, lovely ice racing that you do, that we're looking forward to every year, you do other stuff as well, don't you? Yeah, we have like 10 events every year. And this uh, ice racing is uh, always the same in the beginning of February, and then we have different other racetracks in Sweden, like Mantor Park, uh, Gotland Ring, uh, Gällagås and Ring Knivstock, where we attend some events. Okay, and if you want to look that up, you can go to grc.se or what is it? Not really, that uh, address was already occupied, <laughs> <laughs> but we have a homepage at outerlife.se uh, outerlife slash grc. And, uh, last year we have been with uh, together with other group from Norway. Okay, yeah, I remember that. So it's not not many, not as many Norwegians this year. Although Norwegians are very welcome, of course. <laughs> yeah, always. We have no prejudice. Yeah, we need to have someone to overtake. So. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a four-wheel drive car or a rear-wheel drive car, or does it work even with a front-wheel hot hatch? You don't need to have four-wheel drive, but I would say, of course, that you will have the most fun and be faster with a four-wheel drive car. Uh, but as you can see around here, we have several rear wheel drive cars and also a few front wheel drive. Is this a competition or is it just for sort of you just do rounds for fun? This year is the first time that we do it on our own. Uh, the last years when we have done it together within the weeding group, they have had this time attack on uh, Saturday where they close down the track and have only a few uh, cars at a time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, price giving and etc but uh, we'll see how we will do this year hopefully we can uh, arrange some sort of time attack tomorrow or something. Yeah. it's always fun to have a little bit of competition and something to brag about and uh, um, make excuses for and so <laughs> <laughs> exactly make excuses for okay now it's time to hit the track so i uh, turn off the stability control of course and I make sure I am in the race mode of the Golf. Sitting close to the wheel. 
around there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's go. Making sure there is no one coming down. kidnapped the two geniuses who fixes the ice uh, that we drive on every year. And uh, here so what heter du? Peter. Peter och du? Jens. Hur hur tjock är isen här egentligen? Man... Ja, den just nu är den en halv meter tjock och det tillsvarar att vi kan ut med ett fordon på 25 ton. 25 ton. Okej, okay, ja, man kan det köra. Den för, så det, det är inget problem. Det är mycket bra. Och hur får man den så här perfekt liksom jämn och fin som ni har fått? Det undrar jag alltid. Nej, egentligen så får man det gratis. Man börjar ploga tidigt på säsongen och då är ju ytan alltid förhållandevis slät. What's your name? Gade. Gade, okay. And this is your car? Yes. It looks really cool. Is, is this a, some sort of a WRC car? Or yes, is it... it's a Polo S2000 from oh. 2002. Okay. And, uh, no it's turbo it's, then, is it? No, because this one is built with a Evo, much, much Evo 8. Okay. Engine and gearbox and uh, all the clear line. <laughs> a complete bastard, that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So how many horsepower? 420. Shit. And weight? Um, 1150 maybe. Well, anyway, the match Norway against Sweden is, is not looking too good for us now. Yes. Okay, good luck. Thank you. But not too much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> And this is the owner. What's your name? Hello, my name is Jonas. Jonas, okay. I'm the owner, yeah. You're the owner, and uh, this this car, I mean, it's it's beautiful, of course, but it looks a bit battered. Yeah, it, it is. Have it you is. had a little accident, maybe? Several. Actually, yeah. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And you know, I especially like that you're driving uh, driving top down. Uh, You do you do rally tires? Okay, that's cool. Yeah, we do, we do. <coughs> and and you all, I also see something like a snail-looking thing here. That yeah, might... that's not original. <laughs> <laughs> not quite. So how many horsepower with the turbo? So it's about uh, 265 on the wheels now, oh, yeah. which is above 300 in the engine. So it's pretty fast. Yeah, it is pretty fast, but uh, it's most fun to drive sideways. Yeah, it is. A really cool BMW M3 E30, and here is the owner. 
So what is your name? It's Ulf. Okay. And it's uh, 1987. It has been tucked uh, modified since 15 years ago. And uh, completely new engine. I had the special build, I remember yes. from last year, right? Uh, yeah. GBM Optimering. Okay. GMB, sorry. Uh, JMB op optimized, yes. okay. So he. This was actually underpowered because the chassis was so bloody good. Yeah. And that was only 190 horsepower. So now there is a balance between power and, and chassis. So I have 280 now, and that's perfect. It seems to have had some sort of thing happening here. Can you tell us what that was? Uh, a studded tire exploded in uh, 170 kilometers an hour. I was just That's pretty fast for an ice track, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I have done 220. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, but then I, it blew up uh, just as I was uh, putting in a fourth gear. Around 170 kilometers an hour and I said, said Oof. And, uh, Fender and the tire skirts and everything just went away. Yeah. Plastic for 200 meters. So this guy found himself a little odd parking spot here. <laughs> so easy. What happened? Oversteer. Yeah. <laughs> it happens to everybody. And he's waiting for a pickup, tow truck to pick him up.
doesn't matter if you have a Focus or a Golf or whatever, I guess it's uh, it's a tire issue. Yeah, as long as you have some sort of hot touch, of course, and you have to have a car where you can disable the ESP or you just pull the fuse. That's the other thing. Pull the fuse. Yeah. This is what happens. A lot of snow in the rims. And you get this... <laughs> what on earth happened to your car? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> this is what happens to a car when you sort of uh, yeah, go in this... Uh, Snowy conditions. Yes. You don't have to fear that anybody will see your license plate no, anyway, no, that's no, good. My friend Peter here in his Focus RS, which is uh, has a lot of oversteer to offer if you want it, especially yes. on the drift mode. And Peter is now supposed to show us how sideways you can get in a Focus. <laughs> All right, what could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> Summing up, this is just a truly fantastic event. You should really come here and experience this. It doesn't matter if you have a fast car, a slow car, or if you just uh, drive on normal winter tires. You have a, you will have a lot of fun, whatever. And uh, the nature here is fantastic. You can also go uh, go with the snow scooters and go skiing and stuff. So there's so much to do. So next year, early February, see you in Funastalen. <laughs>